Shop Talk one-on-one one on one with one. Jordan Hauser Digital in three, two, one. Welcome to the second episode of the Shop Talk one-on-one podcast. Today we're here with Matt Del Biondi. Am I saying that right? Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Matt Dell videos, vlogs on YouTube. Basically, this is just like kind of a background behind the creator type of spotlight thing. I just wanted to get into like kind of even how you got started into making videos because it was early. It seems as though it was really early. <laughs> yeah, because of the intro. <laughs> Dude, your intro, yeah, you're like... like, what, eight years old, ten years old, just sitting there being like, let me grab the camera. I'm going to show you around. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was so happy to find that footage because, I mean, it's one thing when you have memories of like, you're like, no, I, I remember doing this when I was a kid, but it's another thing with finding the footage. And uh, I was at my parents' house and I was going through some old uh, eight millimeter high end, high eight camera uh, tapes. Yeah. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, like that's my intro because it's like, we were, I remember we were on vacation. We were on a family vacation, super bored, out of my mind, didn't know what to do. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to just start filming like where I'm staying. And then I was like, you know what? Let me talk to the camera. And I turned the camera around and I guess like I didn't and just instinctively just kind of just, I just did it just because I thought it would be funny, I guess. Dude. But it works really well now. Knowing Absolutely it does. Doing it, so it kind of works really well. That's so like, funny, man. When I saw that, I saw that, and that's that's just that's a that's a recent well a pretty recent intro in your videos. Uh, considering that you've been doing this for much longer than a lot of people, a lot of people. I started like kind of calling you the the OV, the original vlogger, um, dude. Like I didn't even know what the fuck vlogging was until like. January of 2016 and like you've got videos going way way back it's just yeah, like it's where like, I guess where did you get your inspiration to I guess jump onto YouTube and start doing vlogs well, it's, I, I mean the, the, it, um, it's nice that you asked that because the um, YouTube was 2000, December 2006 I posted, and the website was created in April of 2005. Wow. So, I mean, like, it must have been – something must have – I must have been influenced somewhere, and I was like, oh, this is a great idea. Let's just jump on this. Like, I don't know. I just – something about, like, sharing videos, like, from across the world and stuff. And I obviously take it from my dad because my dad is one of those guys that, like, just um, – he's always traveling and always making new friends in different countries. So – there's obviously something about that that kind of like sparked an interest. That's awesome, man. That's super mm-hmm. cool. Just to, I guess to have like that influence in your life, like to be able to like be on a vacation and take the camera and turn it around and talk to it and not, you know, <laughs> have your parents be like, what is this kid doing? You know, but to like celebrate that and be like, yo, this is awesome. That's yeah, a pretty I mean, sweet I thing. I wish I could say that like I was like, Oh, I knew that's like where everything was going. <laughs> There's no way. I was just like, Great. I thought it was funny. I'd be like, yeah, let me talk to the camera like it was an interview or something. And then, man, when I found that footage, I was like, because it was in Toronto. Perfect. So like I, I waited like the whole time I got here to make the intro. And I was just like, I was so excited about it. That is awesome. <laughs> so where, where did you, where were you located, I guess, before you got to Toronto? I was born in Montreal, so I okay. was able. To, I yeah, I've lived uh, in Montreal, Toronto, and now Vancouver. So I've I've made my way across the country. <laughs> Dang, yeah, yeah. heading west. <laughs> yeah, the west coast. The west coast, awesome, dude. Yeah, I was uh, you know, gearing up for this this whole thing. I went back and I was just like checking out your videos and stuff, and <clears throat> I'm more familiar with. Uh, some of your recent stuff i started following you i think it's probably been over a year now i think since i've subscribed to your channel and uh then so i'd like kind of seen most of your stuff from there to now but i went like way back i just like kept hitting down 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 down. oh i went to the first (laughs) i went to like the dude the app 
the whole the videos with the app like the missile the missile videos or whatever dude i used to make those things i lived in uh lancaster pennsylvania for a couple years yeah Uh, i just moved out there for work and then i came back to pittsburgh but um when i was out there and if i was like bored sitting in traffic i would literally just like shoot a missile at the car in front of me on video (laughs) just to like mentally be like you know Fuck yeah, that just guy. to like separate. Yeah, just to like <laughs> keep yourself busy. <laughs> exactly, dude. Yeah. It was so funny that you had like I think you had two of those made or something like that. Yeah, those were dude. Those were hilarious. But like, there's like some like not to like get into like this all these old videos, but I mean, there's like there's this one video that like it was shot and uploaded to YouTube using my flip phone. Like oh somehow gosh. I was able to access the internet using this thing and uploaded like I, the browser must have been like you know tiny like i don't even <laughs> understand like, yeah it's, and that's like the first first video so there, that's crazy i've always shot stuff and uploaded stuff somewhere i'm just glad that youtube exists now and oh yeah for sure loading in different places dude that's that is so wild <laughs> to think that you were sitting there like probably t9ing a, a title <laughs> yeah into- <laughs> <laughs> into youtube or it wasn't even youtube at that point um yeah man that's just crazy and to like think like i keep thinking all this time like back when i was in college uh going to school for video production and things like that uh i remember when youtube came out and there was just this thing that was like eh, i don't really want to upload youtube videos i don't know what it is and yeah, yeah. uh i never really kind of got into doing it until like the beginning of 2016 and then once i did i was like what the hell am i doing i should have been doing this all of my whole life since college and uh dude yeah no it's and and to be honest it's like the like i remember the first few people that were vlogging like the first pioneers you know and it was like philip defranco yeah uh you know, Shay Carl, those guys. I mean, Shay Carl was vlogging before his kids. Like, it was just them two vlogging. And they, yeah. I, I think it was the first kid that was born. And they were vlogging. And then Philip DeFranco, I remember saying, he was saying, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to maybe talk about my video games that I'm into and stuff like that. But those guys, I think those guys actually made a, a documentary about vlogging. Sold oh, really? It for like millions. And that's how they made their money in the beginning. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was like the early, early, early days where, it, like, you know, people seeing you like holding a camera yeah. to your face looks so weird. Oh, dude, um, yes, definitely. But nowadays, I feel like, you know, if you're in a major city, it's not too bad. If you're in a small city doing it, I feel oh like yeah, kind of look at you weird. Oh, for <laughs> sure, dude. I live, I so I live in like Greensburg, which is about forty minutes east of Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh would be, that would be acceptable to walk around Greensburg where literally like the population around here, the minor or the majority of the population here is like old people. You know, you walk around with a giant camera in front of your face and you're talking to it. People are like, what the hell is this idiot doing? That's, that's, That's one of your videos right there. Oh, definitely. Get Casey's glasses, get the, get your boosted (laughs) board. Get the head out. camera. Yep, just head out on the town. And Dude, get, it's get super weird. It's insane. But I've noticed that, like, I don't know. Yeah, the bigger the bigger the city you get to, people just leave you alone. They don't even yeah, want to know. Yeah, they don't even. <laughs> they like, don't want to know. And I, yeah, exactly. When I'm in Toronto and I'm vlogging, there's, people don't even turn around at yeah. all. But if you're doing it, like, we kind of live in a smaller city outside of Vancouver. Mm-hmm. And here, too, sometimes people, like, kind of look at you like, what are you doing? Like, why are you talking to the camera for? Right. Yeah. And that's why, that's that's a big thing. That's why, like, I think I kind of initially started with my phone because it's mm-hmm. not weird to, to talk to your phone. And, right. like, you right. know, things like that. And yeah. even, like, in the groups that we're a part of and stuff, when you see people saying, um, you know what camera should i get and all this and what kind of expensive gear should i have and it's like hold on like just use your phone because yeah. you might not even be comfortable talking to a camera it, that's, like that's so it's, true it's tough man did you go through 
that when you started where you just kind of i mean you started early but when you like really no, started I, to vlog no, vlog. But i mean like when i'm when yeah. i was starting to vlog, vlog mm-hmm. like, like weekly uh for sure i mean i i thought i was i think everyone that starts off thinks i'm gonna be like casey like i sure. want to shoot like casey right so everyone's buying these big dslr cameras and mm-hmm. like you know the, the stupid gorilla things yep. and like everyone's just they get it's monstrous right so <laughs> you're not a vlogger until you exactly <laughs> if you don't have one of but, those uh, and like a 12 pound camera on there you ain't yeah. shit <laughs> that's the thing like right i started with with the, the thing and i was just yeah. like this is too big so i switched over to a um to the it was a, a mirrorless um but the lens didn't retract. It was still like re- interchangeable okay. lenses. Yeah, yeah. And but I found like when I was part of like going out with friends and stuff, I couldn't put it in my pocket. Yep. So I'm always carrying it, and I was just like, "Fuck, this is really exact. Like it's just too much." Yeah. So then when I switched over to to, to like the smaller ones, yep. The fact that it tucked in was able. I was able to tuck it in my pocket, walk into places, into bars, pull it out, shoot really quickly, and then you know it would be that's it. Yep. And then dip it back in your pocket. That thing, is that that was was that the Sony HX80? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, when I started, I was like shooting on my phone for a little while, and yeah. then uh, I went and I started using my Canon 6D with a battery grip, nonetheless. It was just this huge full frame camera, and. Uh, it- that thing was that was insane for a little while, and it didn't have a flip out screen, so I really couldn't, you know, couldn't Dude, see like, myself. I was just like shooting wide, and was like, "All right, man, this has to work somehow." And then um, I went yeah. and I picked up that Sony HX80, and when that thing like, nice. dude, it was awesome. I loved it. Changes that, yeah. Well, because we spent we spent forty days on the road in a camper, um, and when I shot everything thing using a gopro 3 so even with a gopro 3 like you're shooting yourself and you have no idea you're just hoping that it catches it right because right, i mean it's yeah. so wide so you're like oh I'll, you know that's what the vlogs look like it was everything was wide 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 so with the with the sony it was nice to like start to in, introduce like more artistic controlled shots versus just like you know every just everything's wide yeah everything you're shooting is wide. absolutely dude i agree the um the biggest thing I liked about that camera was not only just like the flip out screen, but like the fact that that thing shoots in 60 frames per second was yeah. like, especially for like a dude like me, I love shooting B roll and stuff. And the first time I used that camera, mm-hmm. I went to, um, have you ever heard of put in Bay? Put in Bay. It's in Ohio. It's like, it's like out in Lake Erie in between Canada and in ohio and it's like this little resort island you basically have to park your car on the mainland in ohio take a ferry out to this thing and then you drive golf carts all around this island and the only thing to do there is just get blasted every night you just get drunk and walk around and drive golf carts but uh i took it there where it is wow yeah it's a it's a wild place if you google it it's just yeah. <laughs> you'll see it's it's a nutty place. <laughs> Let's just say lots of bachelor and bachelorette parties go down there. <laughs> That's what that place is all about. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely I'll definitely ask you where that is. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's a cool place. But um yeah, it was really neat. I took that camera and that was really like kind of the first time I was like, "Oh, dude, I'm on to something here. This this is great because we were going to bars and we were hanging out and instead of taking my 6d which is like my workhorse like i that's my bread and butter that's how i make a living instead of taking that thing to bars you know i was taking a camera with me that if it got broke i'd still be pissed off but yeah i at least could afford to get that one broke but like um, you're not starting your night off with anxiety right yeah exactly (laughs) If I broke it, I'd be pissed off the next morning, and you know, yeah. I'd be all bummed out and probably kick some shit or something. But yeah. <laughs> awesome, man! Yes. So, um, you guys like your vlogs, just in general, 
the whole thing that like caught me uh, was and and we had actually run across each other I think in in a previous group, and then once we got into Tara Lynn's group, that was kind of like then I was like oh man yeah, yeah. so like I it was like a real uh, it was a good thing we all kind of got a little tighter. And uh, but the biggest thing, like the first thing, way back whenever I first ran across your videos, that like really drew me in was just the humor in your vlogs, man. It's like, oh really, dude? <laughs> so funny. Like I literally oh, will good. sit here in the same exact spot, and I will watch your videos and just fucking belly laugh when it's just like wow, even really? That's the. Awesome. But it's like the things that you wouldn't think that I would like completely lose my shit at like some of the titles that you put up just like the last one that you did when you scared don your girlfriend yeah. in the clothing store and you just like hit that still of her with her name <laughs> like the funny part about that is just that like if you watch your vlog well, like we know who she is but the fact that her name yeah. popped up was yeah. for some reason was just like one of the funniest fucking things to me. And I was just like, dude, I was laughing hysterically through that thing. That's funny. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that. <laughs> dude, it's good. And I think it's like the chemistry that you guys have, just like the, the little jabs back and forth, like when she whoops your ass in basketball, yeah. things like that, dude. It's just like, it's, it's super funny. Do you, like, I know that I personally, I guess, have had kind of a tough time, like, when I'm doing, like, my, my camera tutorials and things like that, to really put a, a good bit of myself into the videos and stuff. Like, I'm trying to pass off information in a, like, semi-professional manner, but then I kind of feel like I'm like, oh, man, I'm not really being, like, me, myself, the funny person that I think I am. Did you have any kind of like time or moments where you were just like, I'm really not being myself in these videos? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'd say 100%. I think everyone yeah. wrestles with that. I mean, I think you, when you look at vlogs, you tend to look at like the big ones and you always see like, why are they always so happy? Like, should I be always happy? Like, and then you, you tend to be like more animated because when you're right. watching these things, you're just like, like, this is boring. Like it's, it's boring me. I could just imagine if this boring someone else watching it. So you try to put on this personality. That's maybe not, it's not really you. Or right. It's like a kind of like a branch off of your personality. Mm -hmm. and Don always teases me about it. She's always just like, be yourself. Stop. Like, you know, everything's not awesome. Like, right. Oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're just going it's to true. the car. Like, let's go to the car. Like, you know, it's just like, <laughs> Tone it down. <laughs> exactly, dude. That's yeah. That's a that's a great point. Because I I've I've caught myself doing like the over the top happy stuff and like I I you know there's a there's a good group of my friends that actually watch these things and you know they're just like it's some of them will, will they'll tell me they'll just like give me shit they'll be like I love your videos they're fun and they're informative. But that guy, that's not you. Like you, you swear like a sailor. You do, you, you know, you do this, you do that, and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I have to walk this like weird fine line because like you're gonna walk the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So like every once in a while, I let them slip here and there. I, I, I totally get it. I think, yeah. I think most people get it. I think it's like in the back of your mind, you need to remember who your demographic is. Sure. If you if your demographic is kids, like if it's like. For, you know, 14 to 18 or whatever, yeah. then that's different. Then you're just like, bang, 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 you know, like quick cuts, like, hey, yeah. like, you know, you're trying to entertain them like every three seconds. But if, but if you're like my demographic is anywhere between like, I think it's a 25 to 35 range. Yeah. So I need to like, I, I'm always conscious and thinking like, if I met somebody my age, what is it that they would think would be cool or how would i edit this to make them like like it kind of thing yeah um but i think it, I, I think that's that's a really good question because it's it's it should be while well, while you're editing you should be thinking oh like if you know your demographic you should you know like oh you know maybe there's a way to like 
edit it differently. I don't know. Right. I don't know if that's good advice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, don't even take that advice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. It is all just kind of whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all up to whoever's creating the videos at that point. Yeah. I, I definitely do, though. I'll find myself like I can go in normal conversation. I can't make it two minutes without swearing. When I sit down and I make a YouTube video, I can ramble on for an hour straight and not drop one cuss I, word the entire honestly, time. I mean, and I don't know how like, I do it. <laughs> the, the way you, uh, I don't know, just the way you do it. It's it's like I was watching your live stream and like I was at work. I had mm-hmm. it going the whole time on the second monitor. And it's like there's just something about the way you talk, the way you can jump on to different conversations and you're completely by yourself in the backyard. You're just like, I would never be able to do that. I am, I am completely a responsive person yeah. where like I need someone to drag me into a conversation, Yeah, but you're good at it. You're very good at it. It's, it's, it's weird. It is definitely weird. I don't know if you saw the first live stream that I did, dude, I was like shaking, like my hands oh, were really? shaking. I was sitting here just staring and I'm like, I've made videos a hundred times. I've talked to this camera a thousand times. Yeah. For some reason, just the fact that I knew mentally that it was live and there was like nobody even watching. But I was still like, dude, I was like a baby deer. My knees were like shaking. I was just (laughs) because there's no editing. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. It's probably (laughs) the editing thing. So much to make yourselves like I depend on editing so much to make the jokes punchier yeah or like you know like the atmosphere a little more interesting but when there's no editing you're just like you're open oh yeah for sure (laughs) yeah Yeah, it's definitely different there's a speaking of your editing dude the 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 vlog that you put out when did you put that out was that yesterday i think it was was yesterday uh, saturday Saturday. yeah saturday Saturday. dude the editing the b-roll (laughs) <laughs> Unbe- dude just your cuts and stuff for that video everything was like so awesome i watched it oh, twice nice. today oh nice. and it was just like and it wasn't even because we were doing this i just watched it right. back to back because it was awesome and Good, it was just I like that. i think like just the variety of your shots and not to say that your editing wasn't awesome whenever i first ran across your vlog but it i can know i noticed that your editing and your b-roll and your shot like your different shots setups and stuff like that dude it's just getting better and better and better every single time and it's like oh good dude good. it's awesome man i'm loving it it's i mean i would awesome. love to take credit for it but it's mostly i know it's it's me and you talking all the time watching your videos and be like oh man he's doing <laughs> like look at his b-roll i gotta like step up my game this is not- <laughs> dude it's a lot of fun man i <laughs> It was weird when I started making videos, uh, like my first couple videos on my channel were like air horn videos. I was like scaring my, my girlfriend and, uh, you were saying that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just like, it was, it was like this weird thing where like I would make these just like incredibly crappy videos and then I would go work at this like giant corporation and make videos that are like all over the world super polished. yeah like super crazy but and i think that was almost the reason that i was just like no i'm getting no lighting jump cuts i don't give a fuck what i film it on it could be a yeah. cell phone it could be anything it doesn't matter and yeah. uh then slowly i think it started to kind of take shape and i was just like no this is what i do like for a living so i need to Put in some more work. I need to like yeah. get on I it see what and do that yeah. stuff. It's it's definitely like it, there's no way that you would be able to see yourself now back then kind of thing. So you have right, yeah. to go through all this. You have to. Everybody has a story and everybody yeah. has to live through it. For sure. Yeah. I mean, like, dude, YouTube was like uh, the beginning of my youtube thing was kind of like my my rebellion stage (laughs) like in my in my early 30s (laughs) it was like you know i wasn't happy at my job uh it just was like this thing where i was like dude i need a creative outlet i need to make videos for myself and not for these people and uh so that's where it started it just was like this awesome thing that i love to do like i hated half of the day 
Mm-hmm. But then I loved the other half of the day, and it was just like, oh, this is so awesome. Yeah. And uh, like YouTube, just but yeah, like congratulations on like working for your like putting like working for yourself. That is like, dude, it's oh, it's, so nice. it's a world of difference, man. It uh, it's just it's such a wild thing. Um, I feel like I probably could have done this, I guess, like maybe a year ago or something like that, but it never felt right. And then finally this time, whenever I brought it up and my girlfriend was like, honest to God, you have to quit your job. Like you are so stressed out. You're so angry all the time. And like, dude, so angry. Like I was just like a ball of nerves all the time and uh, commuting two hours it oh, was wow. just like like an hour each way. It was terrible. Wow. And uh, cool. dude, as soon as it as soon as that stopped, <laughs> this whole thing just like it was like the weight just lifted off my shoulder. I felt like a million bucks, and I feel like a million bucks every Did you, day. I used to work for a company too that was like I felt like that too. Did you used to have like random dreams that you quit? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, those All are the, the worst. Yeah. Because you'd wake up and you're like, I can't believe that was a dream. That, yeah. that was so nice. <laughs> exactly, because it takes yeah. it takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of balls to to actually do it. <laughs> and then when you do it in a dream, <laughs> and then you wake up and realize that you didn't yeah. do it, then it's like, man, fuck, it's like kicking the nuts. <laughs> it's yeah, it's terrible, man. But uh, I highly suggest it. It's um, it's something that I was always worried. I think that. Maybe I was listening to the wrong people. Uh, they, I always felt like I had to have a million different clients before I could make a leap and do that, and that's really not the case. You really, what I've, what I've learned is you really just need like five to ten solid clients that yeah. just want to keep you busy, and uh, all right. it's just like you don't need a million people to support you it's you just need like a solid like five to ten a good foundation a good yeah and then from there i mean as long as you're like you know paying your bills and and keeping things on track then you can only get better from there and uh i think that was probably the the biggest realization that i had when for uh since working for myself wow that's good yeah that's really good yeah i mean it does take a lot of courage and for it's sure good that you figured out a good formula <laughs> it was cool man I, I really enjoyed it you are you do graphics correct yeah i'm are a graphic, graphic designer. designer what uh do you want to get into that oh uh, yeah if you want sure all right i just i just wanted to know i didn't know if some people don't yeah, want to no, talk about their jobs that's, or whatever no, not at all. but um <clears throat> one of the i guess the first time that i had realized that you were a graphic designer was you made dawn a uh valentine's day card card. dude i was like i saw that on you or on facebook and i was like dang man this is awesome like what is it (laughs) what the hell do you do how many people messaged me about that card because it was like a card done really really quickly like i yeah (laughs) i think if i knew people were gonna message you about it i think i would have done it a little different (laughs) (laughs) It was actually, dude. It was really awesome. I was just like, man, this this guy's like super talented, and that was a whole nother thing that was just like, I need to like really. St- There's certain things that like stick out to me about different creators, and like just your artistic sense is what stood out to me about you. And I was just like, man, I really need to. I need to keep an eye on this guy because. His vlogs are going to be awesome. And, I mean, oh, like I said you. earlier, it's just kind of like there's a lot of vlogs out there that I just can't I can't stomach. Like there's a lot of them that, you know, are just kind of boring and just don't get me, you know. They might yeah. have they might have thousands of, of subscribers and I just I, I can't get into it. But then, yeah. you know, something like yours, I was just like, dude, this is awesome. And, like, I'm glad that's that's awesome that's such Dude, a good compliment it's cool man like just the uh your artist like just how artistic you are i think really that's cool, helps i never thought of i never thought of it like that there was a lot of art like 
art into it. But uh, no, I think you can tell through your through your editing. I think you can you can really, really tell. That's I mean, that's how I can. Oh, that's tell. good to know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I th- I think so at least. But then, and it's uh, funny that you talk about that because it's like when it comes to vlogging too. It's like I find that people t- like you said it before. You were like, "Don't be anyone else. Just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like the way you edit, just be yourself." with how you think needs to be edited. And I find a lot of people tend to like want to edit like David Dobrik or want to edit like Casey Neistat sure. or edit like there's always somebody that someone's kind of influenced by. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like you need to just as long as you're happy with your edit, I think it's it's what's important. Absolutely. For your yeah, man. Yeah. There's that's the greatest thing about YouTube as opposed to like TV. There's mm-hmm. no formula. There's no executive standing over top of you saying, "Dude, you can't jump cut right here." Yes, I can. Yeah. Why can't yeah. I? I'm gonna. I'll yeah. jump cut all day. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I'm gonna do. Like, My whole sentence exactly. is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll jump cut like nine takes to make one sentence. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and as long as your audience knows that, you know those goofy things are kind of your style then that's dude then that's your style and people recognize you for that um, right like a lot of the things that i recognize for for your vlog specifically are like your ritual you open up slap the camera or like slap the right, like right, the right, air right, yeah. like that's yeah. a thing that i've become accustomed to seeing every time i open up one of your videos so that's something that like right, right. I see it and then I get comfortable because I'm familiar and all of that stuff. And that's, that is a great thing to have. That's something that, you know, giant companies do actually in marketing is they have like a ritual and something to for their audience to expect. And that's right. what you do. Mine right. happens to be the boom. I cover the camera. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But yeah, dude, it's really cool. Like. When you edit your voice, the pitch, the pitch shift thing, pitch correct, <laughs> yeah. dude, that is hysterical. I think it is hysterical. I love it. It's just That's like awesome. a lot of times you like get in there and correct yourself or something. If you say something that maybe yeah. do you do those in post? Uh, no, I sometimes I'll do it. Like I'll know that I want to do it. Okay. And I kind of like uh, yeah, I kind of shoot it like. Knowing that I'm going to be reacting to myself, yeah. <laughs> Man, because it's super funny. Because, like, there, there was once specifically that I remember. I think you said something, but then you corrected yourself with the pitch corrected <laughs> one. And, dude, I was laughing so hard. Because, like, who's the, who's the dude? There's a comedian that kind of does something not like that, but... Uh, is it Jim Gaffigan? He kind of oh, like yeah. he talks to himself in that like kind of like really quiet, weird little voice and stuff. And I can tell you a hundred percent that I I hate that guy <laughs> and I don't like that. But when you do it, it is hysterical because it's oh, just I'm like glad, dude. That's yeah, awesome. it's very it's, you know, very and it's funny, funny because it's like I mean I know people are watching and they have like they have their own vlogs and stuff. And I feel like everyone kind of has this feeling that, like, when you're editing it, you n- you never really know whether it's working. Right. Um, and, I mean, it, the way I do it might not work, like, for other people watching. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that you like it because, like, I do it because I think it's funny. Right. And, I, yeah. and if you're editing it for yourself, then you can only hope that someone else in this world might find it funny, too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Dude. And... I mean, that's like kind of where I've gone. When I like started doing these, I would literally like I knew kind of what I wanted to do a video about. So I would just turn the camera on and I would start rambling and I would go through oh, yeah. all of this footage and make a story out of it. And it was I like forever. <laughs> oh, I did. It was terrible. Yeah. And then I was like I literally had to sit there and go like, dude, what do I do at work? Because that is a lot easier than this. And then I just like started <laughs> yeah. writing 
bullet points, like scripts, yeah. essentially. Yeah. And man, I can film a video in like ten minutes <laughs> instead yeah, awesome. of yeah. well, at least the the dialogue portion. You know, I can film in like ten yeah. minutes, knock that out, and then you know whatever from there. But yeah, it's oh, uh, I love it. You post a video, I always end up like if it's in the morning, I, I I'm like, no, I'm gonna watch this when I get to work. So I'm like. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I I love watching your videos. I oh, really dude, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it's, that it's a well, lot. It's polished. It's informative. And to be honest, my when I got introduced to your videos, it was from obviously the HR the Sony camera when you were comparing oh, yeah, yeah. to the Canon. And I found that video completely on my own. It wasn't from a Reddit or a Facebook uh, post. It was literally me googling like the Sony versus Canon. Oh yeah. Tell me the differences. <laughs> I couldn't find a video that was telling me the way your video did. Yeah. Like with the written and the written, I was just like, thank you. Someone that can <laughs> actually explain it to me so I could, you know, wrap my head around which camera to buy and Great. why <clears throat> Canon is like twice the price. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. That was that was the big thing, and I think a lot of people got that video wrong. A lot of people got that video mixed up. I get a lot of flack for that video. So, Which is so strange. I know you is. told me that before, and I was like, well, yeah. why? Dude, I had this guy who was, like, writing me messages, like, one day specifically. He, like, wrote, I think, like, four or five comments, like, back to back to back. And it went from, like, 8 in the morning to, like, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> And it just oh, kept happening man. all day. And he was like, dude, you don't know shit about photography, cameras, any of this stuff. And I just let him go and let him go. And then finally, the last message, I just unleashed. And I just wrote this <laughs> long thing, all the details, all the specifics, everything. And then I said, at the very end, like I, all the camera knowledge. And then at the end, in like one sentence, I said, if you would have, like, I said, if you would have watched the entire video, you would have realized this was for people that didn't understand what yeah. what took these two cameras and set them apart. Yeah. And then he, I think he came back and he said, "Well, you didn't represent it that way." And then he deleted that comment. He did. Yeah. And then I've never heard from the guy again. So. You know, I, but you know that that tells you like whoever's like whoever's watching this video, that that shows you how to tri how many people send hateful comments and they're oh, not yeah. right. They're not. They're they're totally not in the right about it because right. that. I mean, personally, that video was the clincher. Like that was the video. I didn't even know you. Mm -hmm. I was like, this, this this is the best video because it explains it. The way it should be explained and it's written out for you so that way you can you you're easily can compare it like note for note yeah everyone else is like oh check the footage i have on the canon and then you know like you're just like yeah but did you export it properly like i mean is right. this a like proper comparison kind of thing you know yeah dude it was uh it was a fun video to make too and the one thing that like kind of got me angry was like all these like sony dudes who were like up my ass like dude you're like comparing apples and oranges you hate the sony and i'm like no you're wrong i love that sony i love that camera i still use it like if yeah. i am going somewhere where i don't want again to take a dslr or take the g7x with me like if i'm yeah. if i'm going into water or like a waterfall area type of thing yeah, yeah i'll take the sony and yeah. you know if i if i drop it again and yeah. I'm still going to be pissed off because it's a piece of yeah. my gear and I love gear. But, yeah. uh, dude, it's a useful no, I camera. Totally get it. And if you I, feed I, that thing yeah. light, uh, it's such oh, a yeah, good camera. Sure. I mean, if you try and film in the dark, it's a little rough. But, yeah. dude, you give that thing the fuel it needs. It I mean, will but that's what, it. that's what, I mean, I, I don't like this whole thing. Like, we shouldn't be just talking about this video, but I, it is it is a great video and yeah it's fun i'm glad you have lots of views on it because it actually does it's it does what it should do you know it those cameras are still similar similar to each other yeah but different at the same time yeah loads that of it, like internal differences and things and you know but the numbers don't lie because if you look even uh, when i make the 
like I have a video on the Sony and I have the video on the camera that I had before, which was the uh, the Samsung NX thirty three hundred or something like that. that. Um, Same thing. You know, people are looking up these cameras for a reason. For sure. Like that's why the the H the HX eighty is. That's why the video does so well because there are a lot of people like. Mm -hmm. same camera like is it like why is it so expensive like they need you know those questions are being asked for sure yeah Yeah. and it's and it's it's you know it's a fun camera to to film with like you said you slip in your Mm -hmm. pocket when you're out you're having fun and like you guys you guys are like really active you guys are like really (laughs) active in your vlogs and it actually makes me jealous because i'm like man i sit at my desk a lot and like I'll go out and you know I'll film like something on the skateboard or something like that but you guys definitely make me want to be more active you're out playing basketball I've seen bungee jumping uh rock climbing hiking dude snowboarding there's like so many things going on and I'm just like man these guys are fucking everywhere and it's awesome man I love it the I'm one glad. thing that I think that you have influenced me to do a lot more in my videos is just kind of be a little bit more myself and I oh good because I <laughs> like you know some of my intros now used to just be like hey guys how are you we're gonna talk about this today now it's like a little bit more like kind of you know me doing like some just like some weird shit that I would do by myself in my office without a camera running or something that's, that's perfect. you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and like uh i think when i reacted to my own uh motion graphics thing and i was like that was sick and then i was like cut away like sick like dude that <laughs> yeah. was totally yeah, that. that was totally a, a like an influence from your videos for sure <laughs> yeah. i was just like yes i want i want to be like more i want to have more fun in my videos and uh i think that I see you guys having a lot of fun, especially going out and doing all those activities and stuff, man. That's uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, I it's definitely Don, you know, saying, "Oh, let's do this, let's do this, let's do it." I was like, "Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go." And it, like when we first started dating, our first date was I filmed it, and just I mean, I was filming. I've I've always filmed stuff, just never never had an outlet. Like, yeah. didn't know where to put it. Like, you put it on Facebook, put it, send it to friends, just keep it on online, you know? So, it's, I'm glad that, you know, making this conversation go right back to YouTube. But um, it's nice. It's nice to have a channel. That Absolutely. Can, yeah. Because it's, it's, you feel artistic. You can bring that, that kind of, like, your, your spin to things. Mm-hmm. For sure. And I know that, like, you and I have talked in, you know, we've actually kind of gotten into, like, how kind of important YouTube really is like to us individually and things like that. I mean, you know, I've told you, you know, I used to go out and I drink and party and all that shit until like five, six in the morning. And then like once I really started messing with my YouTube channel, I started to realize that I have a little bit more responsibility now because I want to kind of put out videos and put out videos and I can't do that if yeah. I'm tired and I'm hung over. So yeah. the drinking kind of like but... <laughs> took oh, well, you, you could. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I would actually be myself more probably. But um <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I just like I started like really kind of you know doing things a little differently. And uh, now it's to the point where I'm so focused on like business, YouTube, keeping a schedule, all of that stuff. And that it's just like, you know, those Friday live shows or whatever, those are like the only beers I have during the week. And as soon as like the camera's out, I finish that beer and I'm like, I'm done for the day. And it's, it's, you know, it's pretty wild where back in the day, that would be like, dude, that'd be the start of a weekend right there. (laughs) It would be a, I mean, a it's wild different. time. It's different. I mean, I think everyone has to go through that. And there's something about YouTube that makes you like, like yeah, but you know what? Next video, you know what I should do? Like, you're always like thinking like, oh, uh-huh. you know what? It would be awesome if I, like that thing with Dawn and her name and her thing. 
like we were watching Big Brother, and I was just like, man, what the hell? Like that looks cool. Like yeah. how they cut the person out of the thing, and yep. like, you know, so like it's like sometimes you're influenced, and you're just like, oh, like how can I put that in there? Like how how can I like push and and you know, so like it does, you know, push you to become a better. Uh, creator absolutely dude by putting and, yourself on this yeah kind of schedule i mean things just like that are exactly what i'm talking about as far as how creative a guy you are it's just like to be able to i compare it almost to like a musician who can hear a song and learn how to play it by himself you <laughs> yeah, see yeah. something <laughs> and you're like i can do that i can figure that out and you did it and you did it perfectly <laughs> like it was awesome oh, it was just like <laughs> You know, I, as soon as you did it, I was like, yes, that's exactly what needed to happen. That couldn't have been (laughs) anything else but that effect because it was awesome and it was funny. Like super. But then, but then what happens to that is that you watch what influenced you and then you realize that you were a little off. (laughs) There's still something I missed. Well, that's all right. Now it's yours. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Definitely, dude. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, the whole getting into, you know, making videos and things like that was really a great outlet. Do you do, like, any kind of, are you mainly a video guy, or do you shoot photography and stuff, too? Uh, I never went to school for photography, so, like, I always feel like, you know, I, I there's still so much to learn. So I never sure. say I'm a photographer. I do take pictures a lot. Like we had a wedding company uh, in Toronto that we did a lot of photography for. Dude, that's awesome. Um, yeah, but I mean, I did go to school for um, film production. Yeah, and I went to school for graphic design. So there is that that schooling's there for sure. But uh, I mean, that would be amazing if I could go to school for photography one day. <laughs> yeah, dude, I yeah. went. Uh, I actually went to school for photography. Oh, nice. And. Uh, halfway through now this is when 35 millimeter was still still oh, yeah. there and yeah. uh you know i just had gotten a camera a couple years before that so i was like this new bright eyed 35 millimeter shooter and i get to college and they're starting to talk about digital and i'm like digital dude digital's garbage <laughs> they're so yeah i was just like what are these assholes talking about and uh yeah. like who wouldn't <laughs> Who the hell wants to shoot on a on a digital card and just be able to fire off two thousand images at once? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I only want twenty four shots or thirty six, please. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah it's just like, you know, I got to college. I was taking these photography courses, and me and uh, my professor actually just didn't. We didn't get along. We just didn't jive. Oh. And uh, I really just started to like kind of hate photography. And I was like, man, this, this sucks. I don't even want to do this anymore. And a friend of mine was like, Hey man, I'm going, I have to, I take this film class. And he was like, I'm going to shoot a music video. Do you want to help out? And I was like, yeah, definitely went and shot and it was awesome. And we got into the editing room and he's sitting there like doing it. And I was just sitting there watching him and I was like, dude, do you mind if I like take a stab at this? And he was like, yeah, go ahead. And I just wow. sat down and just started like ripping through edits. And he was like, what the hell? He's like, have you ever done this before? And I'm like, no. And he was like, man, he was like, this wow. is like your no thing. Way, really? And immediately the next semester I was like, I'm switching from photography to video. And that's what I ended up doing. Which is really interesting. Cause like editing is not something you can kind of wait. Like, yeah, there's definitely a learning curve. And then, so like the fact that you can, it oh, was weird. something inside you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was doing it very not right, but I think yeah, it was but... piecing the story together was okay, yeah. like really what my driving uh, motivation was. And then if I just like would have learned, you know, eventually I learned like the shortcuts and like kind of the right yeah. way to to do it. I was like taking giant clips and putting them on the timeline and scrubbing through and like, yes, I want this. And then I would take it and put it way back at the beginning and then like go through and put it way back at the beginning. Yeah. It was like horrible, horrible uh, yeah. editing technique. Yeah. But, but well, you it was, know, like it was awesome though. That's how I learned. And it was pretty neat, man. I uh, 
Speaking of your creativeness, I guess, I wanted to talk about a video that I saw way back on your channel. It was the uh, the cooking pig mural oh, yeah. <laughs> on your wall. <laughs> Dude, that is where I think I was like, I knew you were artistic, but then I like saw that and was like, oh, fuck. So there's like people that can like, there's people that can like draw and you're like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That thing was incredible, dude. Like, <laughs> it was really, thing. really nice. <laughs> you had like we, uh, highlights yeah. and shadows and like all kinds of good shit in there. <laughs> the, the flipping of the the pancake. pancake. <laughs> <laughs> we went into a friend's house and she was like, "Yeah, I just paint her, paint my apartment. I just moved in." We're like, "Oh, okay. You That's, should never let yeah, us do that." <laughs> definitely not. But that was awesome, though, man. I was like, I was really digging it. Um, Except the one that there was a girl in the comments, man. She, uh, oh she, yeah, she didn't yeah. like the she didn't like the pig. No, nope. I was like, dang, dude. You, it, 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 you need. Uh, I wish there was like something that you can take to deal with like hate. Yeah, you know, like a course, so you'd be like, hey, like you know, there's gonna be people that like it, and there's gonna be people that hate sure. it, and if you can deal with the haters, you'll be fine. And, you know, the people that love it, like absolutely. That's fine. Yeah, man, you handled it perfectly. Um, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, there was a uh, a comment on there that was just absurdly ridiculous, uh, very just mean spirited, and and Matt just says, "Well, thanks for your honesty." There you go, <laughs> done. That to me is like perfect because as soon as I read that, I just started laughing and was like, "Yeah, that's how you deal with these types of people." Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, at first, whenever I started making videos and I would get these comments and stuff like that, man, I would be, because that's who I am in real life, I would just fire back and be like, for sure. Well, fuck I you, man. One, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Sure. And like, just go crazy on somebody. Like, I would click on their profile, take a look at maybe, you know, their girlfriend or wife or something and be like, I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get nasty with you now. And then, uh, you know, I had, there was a guy who uh, had subscribed to me. I don't even know if he still subscribes to me, but he um, he was one of the guys that really was into the electric skateboards. And he was just like, he goes, you know what, man? He's like, don't even give him the time of day, blah, blah, blah. He was like, you know, just it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And no. uh, I actually just, I, you know, like I remembered that and was just like, you know what? Fuck all these people. It doesn't matter. Like if they want to no. like if they want to try and rain on my parade, that's that's fine. It I mean, doesn't the, matter. The thing is, like, I remember the days of YouTube where there was never a single nice thing being said to anyone. Oh yeah, exactly. So, you know what I mean? Like that's mm -hmm. how YouTube was. Yeah, it used I remember. To be like, hate, hate, hate all the way down. Yeah. Now it's just like basically man, Reddit now. So <laughs> supportive, and it's which is great. I love it. Yeah. But man, it it was rough the first you know the, mm -hmm. the beginning when you're posting a video you would always get so hate so much hate yeah it was wild and and that's like something that you know you've been around a long time um i mean i've been around since like the beginning of 2016 or whatever but making videos as a whole and then having to deal with you know critiques and criticism and things like that i think it's the people like in those groups that we uh are a part of uh, especially the bigger groups and stuff like that, like the the real new people that come in, um, you know, it's really, it's it's not funny, but it is kind of like comical to see like somebody just say like, "Yo, I think I'm gonna delete my channel because some guy called me an <laughs> asshole," yeah. and it's like, "No, dude, you can't." <laughs> like, it, that's gonna happen, and it's gonna happen all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like. I know. You know, it's I try to, you know, comment on those more than I comment on anything else and just say, like, yo, just forget about it. Like, laugh it off. Even, yeah. like, reply to the dude and even just write, ha ha, that's it, man. Or that's like it, yeah, his comment. Yeah. Like his yeah. comment. Like, yeah. that enough is hilarious. Like, the guy would be like, what the fuck do you like my comment? Recently the, I think that recently the same thing happened where... I got like a really nasty like comment on one of the vlogs saying like 
like you're just annoying or something like that. And I, I remember Don saying like, oh, like how do you feel? And it's like, honestly, I it doesn't bother me because it's like no one's going to – not everyone's going to like your stuff. Right, like, exactly. You have to, I don't know. It's just it's just normal. Like yeah. just the way you don't like – you know, there's like videos that you just don't like. And, exactly. And I mean like – you always have to you always have to think there is there are people out there like you know beautiful beautiful people out there like fucking Brad Pitt who people hate that guy why that's true that is true <laughs> i mean like <laughs> dude and that's on like a massive scale yeah. millions of people hate that guy <laughs> yeah if, if people don't hate you then you, you exactly done it right. <laughs> I, I i definitely feel like i kind of like it when you know people are like i bought the that gopro gimbal thing and i took it out and just oh uh, yeah yeah i wanted to shoot some b-roll with it out in pittsburgh and i think when i went to like reformat my channel i gave some new titles to videos and things to you know try and get them to where they need to be and yeah. uh i forget what i titled the video it might have been like great b-roll or something with with this thing and some guy immediately wrote on there and said, the gimbal's cool, the B-roll sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, oh. I was laughing so hard. Like, I literally just started laughing, and my girlfriend was like, what? And I showed it to her, and she was like, oh, my God, what a jerk. Like, she immediately went into, like, yeah, like, like protected, yeah, yeah. like, mama bear mode. And yeah, I yeah, was yeah. like, no. I was like, this is, like, hysterical. Like, I don't even care. It's, it's yeah. funny. You know, and uh, I mean, like, it's nice it was, because sometimes you're just like, well, like, thanks for the honesty, because sometimes you don't even get that kind of honesty. Yeah. Like some people are like, oh, like that great video. But it's like, do you really like you're not even subscribed to the channel? Like, did you right. really think that was fun? like, you know what I mean? Like you start thinking like, I don't know, some people just write, oh, great video or have, a, you know, like, you know, I really like something. But it's not, you never feel like a genuine Sometimes some comments are not very they don't feel genuine, you know. Yeah, definitely. Oh well, I don't know. That was uh, <laughs> yeah. I liked your drawing. The whole the whole premise to that was you are definitely a creative dude. But um, I wanted to tell you that uh, mm-hmm. I took some of your advice and I started dumping some videos on Reddit. And oh, today nice. I received a message. After one upload, I received a message from Reddit today that I am banned from Reddit. <laughs> I got banned today, too. Dude. I got banned, too. I don't know. what They must have put the crack down today. No, but, okay. I'm telling you, that we'll have this conversation after this. Okay. Uh, There's something that happened today that, that makes this story very funny. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't generally happen. Yeah. And yeah, something happened today that the mods were like, the guy, I don't know. He just, went nuts. I don't even want to waste time. There time. you go. Yeah, <laughs> I was sitting there and I was sitting, like, I have my I have my notes up here and I have tips tips and tricks for Matt. And <laughs> I was like, I, I now I wrote these notes on, like, throughout the week last week and then a few over the weekend. And I'm like, Reddit, that's awesome. And then I pull up my my phone today and get this email and it's like you're banned from from r slash vlogs or whatever and I'm like I think I put one like video up there. Advice from Matt again. <laughs> so Matt, do you have any tips and tricks that aren't going to get people banned from sites? <laughs> you need money, rob a bank. There you go. <laughs> it's like one after the other. Simple as that. <laughs> go rent yourself the movie Point Break. Get five friends. <laughs> <laughs> and go surfing but uh yeah as far as any kind of like other tips and tricks that you have i mean that's kind of like keith actually last uh-huh. episode turned me on to this website called if this oh then i know that. dude I, when i watched it i wrote it down too and i yeah. checked it out i have like three of those things like helping me too it yeah was such a it, great tip yeah. it's a really neat thing like i couldn't I couldn't understand that, you know, that they would, it was able to do these things that it was saying that they, that it would do. And yeah. I was like, wow, that's really awesome. 
So, um, what was it called? If that, then this, or something like that. Something like that. I think it's I F T T T. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> if that, then this. <laughs> if you have enough letters in the Google search bar, you'll find it. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I remember watching that video, and I was thinking, I really want to talk about uh, when we when I put my vlog together. One of the biggest things I try to do is create a use a story structure mm-hmm. that's typical when you're creating a short story. So I mean, I think if I was telling somebody that it was like, oh, I'm gonna start vlogging, like, do you have any advice for it? And I would say very loosely. Think of a story structure, like mm-hmm. have like an intro, then there's like an issue, a rising crisis, and then with, from there you have a climax and then your ending. That's like basically when you're like writing a short story, that's kind of like your step yeah. in creating a short story. Um, but, but with vlogs, you can use that very loosely and thinking like, well, your intro is, hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog, da 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 but then it's like, now you're going to have an issue. Like, oh, what? Oh, you want to do... Like, you know what I mean? Like, you yeah. create a kind of, like... It doesn't have to be fake, but a lot of times it could be slightly suggested that, sure. like, oh, you know you're going to go surfing that day. You can push the story to unre- like to reveal it in, in a, you know, prolonged way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Dude, story structure, I think, is something that would definitely help the the new tuber for sure. And even guys like myself who, for the longest time, literally was just slapping videos together because it was just something that I wanted to do and yeah. really didn't have any kind of a story. And that, since I kind of rebranded my channel to do this camera uh, like tutorial thing and photography and video was just... I wanted to have a, like you said, like an, an intro with an issue that was today we're going to talk about blah, 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 and I'm going to show you how to do it. And by the end of the video, I had showed you how to do it and maybe some potential issues that you might run into and how to fix those. And like I think Love it. Yeah. telling stories is definitely something that even if you don't know that you want that, you, your brain does. Oh, and yeah, sure. that is yeah. why I think guys like Casey, uh, Peter McKinnon, David Dobrik, yep. any of those guys, I think really just grasp onto you and don't let go. Yeah. They're great storytellers. Yeah, they are. And, and yeah, I mean, I think Casey said it the best. Like, he, 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 there was a few videos he created like that where he's just talking about story structure. And it's true. It's like, it doesn't matter what you're shooting on. At the end of the day, somebody wants to know a good story. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it dates back to like the way people used to tell stories, just verbally, and people were, you know, addicted to a good story. So if you're able to find that, create that kind of like formula for yourself, the way you want to do it, I mean, I think you, you're just going to find success. You know, doesn't matter what camera you're using, whether it's the Canon or the Sony. <laughs> right, dude. I agree. I agree 100. percent Very good, sir. Well, Matt Del Biondi of Matt Del Videos Vlogs. <laughs> Any longer. <laughs> try, and say, try and say that five times fast. It's good stuff. Thank you very much. You are nope. definitely an inspiration uh, for me to really just get get comfortable with the camera. That's the one thing I notice the most about you is just how comfortable and awesome your videos are. Thank you so much. So All much. Right, man. Word. We'll chat soon, buddy. For sure. All right. See you soon. Later. <laughs>